Institute's Most Visible Progress National Degree Completion Awards honors universities that are successfully retaining and graduating their students. These institutions are serving as models for the nation's higher education community. There were 21 entries this year competing for the two awards. MVP Trailblazer for making the most progress increasing retention and completion of bachelor's degrees during the last three years. And MVP Opportunity for greatest increase in retention and completion of bachelor's degrees for historically underrepresented and underserved students. The awards are made possible through the generous support of our sponsors. And now, let's take a look at this year's MVP finalists. FIU is Miami, Florida's first and only public research university. For over four decades, we've been one of South Florida's anchor institutions, solving some of the greatest challenges of our time. We see ourselves as solution-centered, as a research university, engaged locally and globally. And we prepare our students to succeed in the global marketplace by giving them the tools they need to complete their academic goals. So it's with great pleasure that we submit to you this brief description of our graduation success initiative. GSI is university-wide. It gives FIU students the support they need from the moment they apply to the day that they graduate. The graduation success initiative has two domains currently. One that's designed to get immediate results and that involves finding students who are well positioned to graduate and figuring out what they need to graduate and making sure they have it. The second is building a whole system of interventions that help them to, one, find an appropriate major, two, see what the path to that graduation in that major is, three, give them feedback when they get on or off that path, four, to analyze any sorts of barriers that might get in the way of them succeeding and moving along the path, and any supports they might need. And the, f the fifth one is to make sure that if they do their part, the student, and they stay on track, we offer the courses that they need when they need them. FIU was originally founded as an upper division university. So we had this very two plus two model um, at FIU. And you, you do your first two years one place. We help you with the, the last two years. With our new system, that all went away. Students are now able to connect with and work toward their degree and their requirements right as a first year student. The Graduation Success Initiative is um, its fantastic. It's actually the set of different tools that students can use to help them figure out if they're on track to explore different majors and for us to provide information to advisors. One of the challenges we face at Georgia State is that we have a student population that is largely at risk. Uh, this past fall we have over 20,000 students who are either on Pell, are first generation college students, or, or members of underrepresented minorities. And so that means that there's not a single program that can address the needs of all these students. We've had to have several different programs to try to look at each problem individually. My name is Tim Rennick. I'm Vice Provost and Chief Enrollment Officer at Georgia State. Just a few years ago, we were graduating only 5,800 students a year. Four years later, we're graduating 7,300. My name is Abby Hayes. I am from a small town in Henry County, Georgia. It's called Ola. It's in McDonough, south of Atlanta. I am studying speech pathology with a concentration in communication through the lifespan, and I'm minoring in sociology. Neither of my parents have a college degree, so they struggle immensely. One of my biggest inspirations is my father. The way that he goes to work and provides and his every thought is about his family and how he can make things better for all of us. 
I want to be able to give my family everything that he couldn't and with a degree I could do that. Through the student support programs I was granted a scholarship and it's called KHA. This is Keep Up Alive. I formed relationships with academic advisors that were crucial in actually helping me regain the scholarship. I also attended classes to improve my study skills and money management. The motivation from the Keep Up Alive scholarship has really inspired me to pursue my passion. After I graduate from Georgia State, I'm planning on going to get a master's degree, and then after I get a master's degree, I'm planning to do speech therapy for children. The Georgia State University student support programs have really made a difference in my education. Metro Academy's initiative is a redesign of the first two years of college when students are most likely to drop out. And it's working. The majority of Metro students are graduating five years, while other students, if they graduate at all, are graduating six or more years to get through. In the past 35 years, the gap in college completion between low-income, underrepresented students and their more affluent counterparts has more than doubled. In California, we rank 49th. In a state where 75% of all young people under the age of 18 come from communities of color, this is our biggest challenge in higher education. We began Metro with the conviction that we can and we must do better. Students learn the language and culture of higher education in Metro. They gain confidence because their curriculum is relevant to their lives and courses are linked, giving them time to build academic skills. They work hard to bolster their critical thinking, to write with purpose and clarity, speak clearly and powerfully, and use data to enhance their arguments. Throughout the program, they continue to develop strong academic identities. Metro provided a community. In the classes, we were able to tell our own stories and share our personal responses rather than just being in the back of a lecture class and just, you know, staying quiet. But once I was in Metro, I felt empowered to speak and share my voice. Education isn't just a paper. It's knowledge that you get to keep and no one takes that away from you. Now after going to Metro, I, I really want to just keep going to school. If you're trying to achieve more than just working at some fast food restaurant. For me, the reading and writing was absolutely wonderful. I loved it off the top because it gave me a picture of what I really want to do in life. The Metro program is super important for first generation students for many reasons. I can't ask my mom how, how she do it, you know. If I have a question, you're there, you know. You help me, you point the direction, and I walk it, you know. And I'm pretty grateful for that. I'm working to become a registered nurse. I want to build a company which creates employment. My career goal is to produce for television. Community projects or scholarship programs. So I'd like to be a doctor. Be involved with the YMCA through the youth development programs. So during Welcome Week my freshman year, we received a tassel that included our graduation date on it four years down the road. That tassel was important to me. It reminded me of my goal to graduate on time. During orientation, you schedule your classes and you meet with your advisor for the first time. And when you walk in, they automatically set up graduation planner. And for me, my advisor labeled it 2014 plan. I was a first generation college student and I was placed into the Access to Success program. So during my sophomore year of college, I applied to the school of nursing and I was accepted. And then three years down the road, I graduated with my nursing degree. You also signed the four-year guarantee during that meeting, so they tell you right from the start that the U is willing to work with you as long as you work with them to make sure that you're out in four years. My freshman year, I lived in a living learning community where I was able to make some really great friends who were interested in the same topics I was. And at the same time, we were also able to explore the resources. And it was a really good way to get to know some of the larger things at the university. I know my advisors really believe in me, and I definitely don't want to disappoint all the people around me that believe in me. So I continue because I have their support. Financial aid has been a motivator for me 
to do well in school and to graduate on time. The university has a policy where any credit over 13 you don't have to pay for and that's helped me get through school in a timely manner because I don't have to worry about costs going up when I take more credits. And now it's time to announce the winners. Congratulations to the finalists.